Nothing beats figure skating for elegance, beauty and strength. Good skaters are athletes and artists combined. Strong and fearless, moving with effortless grace. Jumps and spins perfectly executed while capturing the mood of the music. Penny and Nick have lived a lifetime on skates with the Olympic Games on their mind. With Pyeongchang 2018 just around the corner, they were entering the qualifying season in the best shape of their lives. But in a split second, a potentially career-ending injury snatched their dreams away. But through all the pain, they never gave up. And now they are about to make their comeback at the Nabelhorn Trophy event in Germany. It's their last chance to qualify for the 2018 Olympics. They're about to find out whether all their effort and commitment has been enough. Ice skating is probably one, I would say, one of the most difficult sports in the world in that you have to be so good at so many different things. I think that's what makes it so unique is yeah. the fact that you actually you have to make it aesthetically pleasing, yet scientifically and the, the, the heart rates that you skate at and what your body is going through. Because I was watching swimming yesterday, and this is not disrespecting swimming at all, but you can, the, the guys, the commentators were saying his legs must be burning right now. I would say, nobody would ever say that in the middle of a figure skating performance. But they are. legs are burning. They, they are. But you have to do it. People are, oh, it's so beautiful, you know? About a year ago, Nick and I were practicing um, one of the lifts that we created in our free dance and um, it didn't quite fit the difficult criteria for the level so we needed to add a difficult entry onto it. So we tried to do almost like a lasso type um, jump up onto the shoulder and I just overdid it and ended up falling off Nick's shoulder all the way back and I landed directly on my kneecap um, and my patella sprung open into eight pieces. I, I don't really remember that much of it, it's very spotty. Um, I remember my throat hurting from screaming. Um, and that was, that was really challenging for me mentally, and I was a bit grumpy at that point. I sort of fell out with skating and I didn't want to watch it and I didn't want to talk about it. As I began training more and more, my knee started to get more and more painful and uh, the wires in my knee had got caught in the patella tendon and I had to make the decision whether or not I wanted to try and skate at Worlds and get that Olympic qualification or whether I wanted to have the surgery now and just shoot for the Oberstdorf qualification and get the spot there. But you know, I got through it. I'm very lucky. I have a really great supportive team around me, supportive family, and um, that you know they, they got me through it. And I've worked my butt off to get back. And when I look back at it now, I don't know how I did it. I was just in pain all day, every day. But you know, people just said to me, "Look, you're going to have a bad knee now." Um, so I just sort of accepted that. But like now, I, I don't have that same feeling. I think the Olympics kept me going. That's something that's so special to me and I'm so proud that I've been to two Olympic Games. It's something that just means so much to me. So how, knowing that that was so close really pushed me and that was always in the back of my mind and everything I did. Um, you know, sometimes I would, like if I was having a hard time or I didn't feel motivated in the gym because I knew it would be so long before I could compete again, I'd just sort of close my eyes and imagine competing again and that feeling again and it would really like get me going and almost like make me well up. We just basically said oh, we would hate to, for this to just be the end. We haven't come this far and worked this hard for an injury just to end the career and that's it. We haven't finished doing what we want to do and I would hate something that's totally out of our control to decide that for us. For Penny and Nick, it's the end of the most traumatic season of their lives. 
The injury which nearly ended Penny's career, followed by one setback after another, has meant they've missed the last 12 months of competition. Their dream of qualifying for the 2018 Winter Olympics now rests entirely on Oberstdorf. This is the last chance for Penny and Nick, and they are determined to come out fighting and show what they can do. With their Olympic dream hanging in the balance, they've called in iconic British skater Christopher Dean to choreograph their dance routine. This is what I say when people say, what is ice dance? I say, it's what Torval and Dean did. <laughs> That's the best way. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Christopher knows that Penny and Nick need to produce something really special. And so he's reached into his own back catalogue to create an updated version of Torval and Dean's famous 1994 medal-winning Olympic rumba. I haven't lived a normal teenage life, for example, but I wouldn't want to. I love what I do and, you know, I would much rather be in my shoes and do what I love every day. Whenever we decide to retire from competitive skating, that's going to be a, a very strange thing because it, it does mean a lot. It's always going to be part of us. I have been through so much throughout this sport. I've had illnesses and injuries and concussions and broken noses and broken bones and just so much, but I've kept going. So for me, that's how much it means to me.